Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In the last video, I introduced you to the concept of dynamic regression models or ARIMA X models, where we are extending the concept of ARIMA models to include other covariates uh, in the model by including the relevant information contained in other predictors uh, in the model and hence uh, build uh, these ARIMA X models. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, two methods of uh, building uh, these uh, ARIMA X or dynamic regression models. And previously we talked about ARIMA models of uh, this form where we are including a P, AR processes and uh, Q, MA processes in the model. So to include uh, this X factor in the model, what we can do is we can simply include uh, another term beta XT in the model. And obviously we can include more than one variable on the right hand side but for simplicity i'm including just uh, one variable but essentially it captures uh, the idea that we can also denote this one beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 etc and include multiple variables uh, on the right hand side so what we can do is uh, simply include uh, other explanatory variables on the right hand side of uh, this equation and now these x variables are other covariates uh, that are uh, explaining a uh, variation in uh, this uh, yt variable and uh, the information contained in these uh, xt variables may improve our forecast and here beta is the coefficient of uh, uh, these uh, covariates uh, one disadvantage of uh, using this type of model is that uh, this uh, coefficient is uh, hard to interpret because uh, of the presence of uh, these uh, yt lagged values on the right hand side and hence uh, we probably need to use a different model and hence uh, there is another method of uh, modeling uh, these arima x models so that we'll be able to capture uh, time series dynamics as well as uh, other covariates uh, in the model and uh, using this model what we do is uh, we forecast yt variable based on a beta xt variable just like uh, the way we were forecasting using uh, the regression model and here we include eta t on the right hand side and we capture these time series dynamics uh, by this uh, eta t term and uh, we include uh, phi 1 eta t minus 1 up to phi eta t minus p and notice here we are including p lags of uh, this eta term and hence uh, this represents uh, the AR process of our model. And then we include uh, MA processes on the right hand side of the model by including uh, uh, the forecast error. And we include uh, Q lags of uh, the error theta 1 and our first error ZT minus 1 minus up to Q lags of uh, this uh, ZT error ZT minus Q plus ZT. This is our uh, original error. And now beta has uh, its uh, usual interpretation. So these are the two methods of uh, building these ARIMA X models. We can either simply include uh, X variables in these ARIMA models, but in this case, uh, betas are very hard to interpret. And a better way of modeling uh, ARIMA X models is uh, to capture the ER process and MA processes uh, in this eta t term and uh, forecast yt based on xt variables and capture the AR and MA processes uh, in this uh, eta t term. In the next video, I'll talk about how to estimate uh, these types of uh, models. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.